Let's learn how to calculate the cube root of a cube number through prime factorization method. So we have 216 and we have to find out the cube root of this number. That is, you have to find cube root of 216 using prime factorization method. Okay, so we have learned how to perform prime factorization of square numbers, right? It's quite similar to this, to that one only. So write 216 here and let's begin the prime factorization of this 216. So this is 2, 1, 2, 2, 0, 2, 8, 16. And then you have 54. And then you have 27. Here 3, 9, 3, and then you get 1. So 216 can be expressed in terms of prime factors by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now, in the case of square numbers, when we find out the square root, in that case, we make the pairs of prime factors. But in the case of cube roots, we always take prime factors three times. So this is three times and this is three times. It means that if we have to find the cube root of 216, then you take the prime factors three times and then, okay, I need some space. That's why let me move this control X and V. So three here is equal to, it means that it is equal to, now take one two from here, multiplied by one three from here. That is six, okay? So sorry, so six is the cube root, I should have completed it. Six is the cube root of 216. Now we have 3,375. You have to find out the cube root of 3,375 using prime factorization method. So 3,375. First check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. So we add up all the digits. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 7 is 13 plus 5 is 18. Yes, this number is divisible by 3 because the addition of digits give us 18 and 18 is divisible by 3. So 3, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2 and 3, 5. Then 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 4 is 5 is 9. So yes, 3, 3, 3, 9, 3, 7, 21, 3, 5, 15. And again, 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 6, 3, 5. And now we have, <coughs> excuse me, 5. 5 to 10, 5, 5, 25, 5, 5, 25, and then this is 1 here. Okay, so this 3,375 can be expressed as, can be expressed as in the terms of its prime factors, in the term of its prime factors, like 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, right? So if you find the cube root, that is the cube root of this one. So take 3, 3 times, 5, 5 times, 1, 3 from here, and 1, 5 from here, that is 50. It means cube root of 3,375 is equal to 50. 74,088, you have to find out its cube root. So this is 74,088. So you get 2 here, 2, 3, 6, 
Then you have 212, 216, 215, 224, 224, 224, 224, 224, then 313, 30, 326, and 3927. 339, 312, 339. Now this is cube of 343, sorry, 7. So 7483, 7 times 7 is 49, and then 7, 1 times is 7. So if you have to express 7,480, 74,088 in, in, in the term of its uh, prime factors, then it will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. So the cube root of 74,088 is take, make this three times, take three three times and three, seven three times. Then from here you get two multiplied by three multiplied by seven and you get 42. It means that the cube root of 74,088 is equal to 42. Last number, 13,824. We have to find out the square root of this number using prime factorization method. So write 13,824 here and then take the prime factorization of this one. So 2612, 2918, 212, 224. 236, 248, 25, 10, 26, 12, 212, 27, 14, 224, 28, 16, 28, 16, 26, 12, 248, 248, 236, 224, 224, 212, 26, 12, 212, 228, 16, 2510, 248, 248, then 27, then you have 3, 9, 27, you have 3, 3, and then you have 3, 1. So if you express 13,824 as a product, product of its prime factors, then it becomes 2 or let me write it here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then 1 2 and 3 right so the square root, sorry, cube root of 13,824 means that cube root of this one, okay, take 2, 3 times, 2, 3 times, 2, 3 times and 3, 3 times, so you get 1, 2 from here, 1, 2 from here, 1, 2 from here and 1, 3 from here. You get 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. So 24 is the cube root of 13,824.